YouTube, my name is the Yorkshire Vlogger, guys, welcome back to the channel for another vlog, if you could call this video a vlog, I'm going to call it a vlog, uh, oh, and by the way, if you're thinking, Jay, do you not take your school uniform off, yes, I do take it off, I've just literally got on from school, and I want to record this video, and then I wanted to get changed, and then get changed into uh, ca casual wear, is very very posh people would say so in the comments of yesterday's video yesterday's video um which was the lyric prank which i've had a lot of support by the way and people saying that it was really really funny so i really really appreciate that so i left a comment saying comment yes if you would like to see a video of me kind of telling you and showing you how I edit the vlogs and how I edit my videos and showing you and giving you and sharing you some techniques of how I edit my videos. Now about five or six people commented yes. I kind of put it down there about an hour and a half if, um, after I uploaded the video and about 10 people had already seen it. So I, I maybe would have got about 16 if uh, I um posted that comment straight away but i didn't now one person said no which was tain and bassett uh okay i mean that's fine but you know it, it was just weird because like there was like five yeses and then tain just tain just put no so as it is a majority kind of vote the majority of the people did see, did comment yes which means they would like me to show uh, you how I edit my videos so that's exactly what we're going to do I think this probably will take up the majority of the vlog if not the entire vlog now the reason I even suggested doing this is because a lot of people do tend to ask me not on YouTube but if I on my website with my little business chat a lot of those people have viewed my YouTube channel and viewed a few of my videos so they'll pro probably be watching this video so for you guys who wanted to know how I edit, I'm going to show you. And, and even those people who never asked me how I edit my videos, I just thought I would show you anyway. So you might want to, like, say if you're having some problems with working out how to cut music or working out how to add text or very basic things, I'm going to show you in this video right here. So my computer is in there, and now I'm going to get my computer and I'm going to show you how I would edit. Right. Right, I'm sat at my desk and now all we need is a computer. Cool, got the computer. Now I'm going to show you how I edit my videos. Now first of all I'm going to tell you what software I use for editing videos. Now the software in which I use is called Final Cut Pro. Now this is only available on a Mac unfortunately but I'm planning on upgrading to Adobe Premiere, Premiere Pro which is cheaper than Final Cut Pro but on, on Premiere Pro you don't like pay a, like say £100 and then that's it, if you paid all the money you don't have to pay any more money to all the software once you've paid that £100 that's it on pretty much every editing software or how, how much it may be but on Premiere Pro you pay about £10 a month to keep using it and now it's no contract so say if I wanted it for five months I would have to pay say £15 a month and at, at, at any point during those five months I would be able to cancel this deal, this subscription and I think that's better really honestly because it works out cheaper and also like with Final Cut Pro once you've bought it and you don't want to use it anymore then you can't really get any, any a refund so that's where Premiere Pro is better now I have not actually paid for Final Cut Pro because I got a free trial for you about like May but my free trial never ended I've not got charged for it like I keep checking just in case it's charged me and I've not been charged for anything so like I got my free trial in May and I can still use it. it's meant to be a 30 day free trial but five months later I can still use it as you can see it does clearly say Final Cut Pro trial in the top left hand corner and that's exactly what I was talking about it's just not expired I mean it just hasn't expired it is so weird so onto the software this is what the editing software looks like when you, when you go onto it it will take you to the page in which you edited your previous video on. Now, this was the lyric prank. Now, if I scrub on this timeline, you should see the video playing with no sound. Now, this is quite an organised timeline that I've got here. It's not messed up, as you can see. Like, the timeline's not all jumbled up, is it? It's not 
and it's quite a neat looking timeline all the little tracks there i've got a track there i've got an image there which i've um pasted the screenshots in as you can see right there it's just quite a nice looking timeline i have to apologize for my very very dirty screen as i really really need to wipe it now i'm going to show you a few things so as i said this is my timeline and a timeline is simply the video all the clips which you put into the video all the music and everything in which you put into the video that's all there on the timeline now up here you'll see some really weird images you think why the heck have you got that in your computer trick that's because when i was editing a video for lee harris lee jean luc harris that you know there is a I, I had to use those um, those clips to put on the top of the video if you know what I mean so let me show you what I mean now, now this video is all edited so I it's all it's uploaded so like if I if I mess it all up it don't really matter right now because I've already uploaded it so say if I want to put this over the top say if I want to have the audio of me speaking so the audio say here that it was the lyric prank <laughs> But I want to have a clip or a screenshot or a picture over the top of it. Now, all we do is on Final Cut Pro is going to be the same on most of the softwares. We just drag the clip on, on, until you see the clip. There you go, you can, you can see the clip. And I can just put it anywhere. I'll put it there, wherever you want the video. And then when you play it... That was it. I think that went quite well, didn't it? I as you can see... Well. No, I don't... That, that clip does come over now you can crop it um let me just get onto it you can crop it as well so if you want if you want to take up the uh take up the entire screen you can do by just doing that and cropping it it's not quite right cropping it take up the entire screen you can make it thinner you can make it fatter you can make it really really fat if you like by doing that really really stretch it or you can just have it like of a certain part of the video so you might want it just in the top corner uh, you can do that and you can essentially put it anywhere you like as long as you crop it for whichever um, size you need it and once you've, and once you've fitted it you just click on done and then as you'll see you'll see that video in the top corner now all these little green bits down here like them bits down there there's little green little lines they are all my music tracks in which I've used in the video of course I've had to uh, cut the audio in certain parts because I don't, I don't want that Justin Bieber song to be playing throughout the entire video only in the parts in which it is necessary. So, uh, let's just go on to music where I can get the music from. Um, give me a second. So, if we, I've just used this one, this Justin Bieber song which I use in the prank video. Um, so, if we drag that, that's how you put music on, you just simply drag it. And then for example, say if I, I, I don't want the music on a certain clip, I want to stop the music on a certain clip, okay? You just press B, you should see a little cutter, a little blade there. And say if I want it to stop there, on that clip there, I don't want the music playing on that clip. Just where that clip ends, I will click and that separates it and then press A to get rid of the blade which you press A, click on that and go to cut and then as you can see the song will um, start playing again on the bit in which you need it what, what, also what you can do, say if I don't want that song on that clip I want it on that clip, like I want the song to start on that clip there just hold your mouse and drag to that clip if that's where you need the music to go and then give me a second you can hear that music is ridiculously loud so you want to go turn it down so if we just go to audio and then when i'm making a video i usually put it on about minus 30 that that's the best it, it's just the right amount focus so minus roughly minus 30 minus yeah minus 30 will do so when, when we play it I'm gonna say thanks for watching today. You can hear it in the background, but it's not loud enough that you can't hear my voice. Now, also, a question that I get quite a lot is where do you get the music from in your video? Why am I doing that? It's like I'm pointing the gun to end it. Where do you get your music from in your video?
I'm doing it again. Where do you get your music from in your videos? Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a great YouTube channel, a great artist in which I get my music from. Well, the artist in which I get the majority of my music from is a guy called Jeff Carl or Jeff Carly, I think I think is how you say it. Now all his music is copyright free. Now there's so many songs down here. Uh, I'll try to find a song that I've used in the past. Um, I, I, like most of the songs that I use, they're quite far down. Um, let me think of one. I've used this one before. Once, I think. Darling, you. This song's called Cookies, as you can see. As you can see, it has quite a nice beat. Check Vibe Sound. I'll leave the link to that channel in the, that channel in the description. You get so much music from that channel, and it's so good for getting music. And also, you might have noticed, but in the, in my videos, they they're quite snappy. So so there's no there's no like random pauses for no reason. Now that's because if I make a pause, I always cut it out at the end of a clip when you finish recording, right? Don't show the bit where you're going up to your camera or phone or iPad to turn it off. What I mean is, I mean, I mean this. With um, a song by Justin Bieber. This bit right here. So I get up and I turn the camera off. Now, you don't want that bit in because it just messes up the flow of the video. Now, I always encourage people not to do this. So, like, I want the vi the clip to end on my last sent on my last word. Oh, that, that was Hangouts there popping up. So... Let me just play it for you. The YouTuber It's Jack, who is a subscriber of mine, with um, a song by Justin Bieber. Now even that's a little bit too, so if you cut it down there... With the lyrics of prank. <laughs> I've just pranked the YouTuber It's Jack, who is a subscriber of mine, with um, a song by Justin Bieber. So that's where I wanted to end. The second that I, the second that I would um, finish my sentence. Now the way you do this is you just go to the end of the clip, and here you should see a little two little arrows here, and you can drag it backwards. That will shorten the clip. Or you can drag it forward, which will which will make the clip longer. But also pauses. If you make a long pause. In a video, that's just my lyric prank, all the stuff. If you make a long pause in a video, it's recommended that you cut it out by me. So, let me give you an example here. So... As you can see, it's quite a long pause here. So, what we're going to do is... From the moment when I start speaking, which was roughly there, we're going to click on B, press B... B will bring the little blade out, you see, a little red blade. And then we're going to, where the, where the line is, where the little, little line is, you're going to click. Now that's the bit, oops, sorry, I need to do that, I've had a matter That's the bit that we need. Now to bring it back to the to the normal uh, arrow, press A. And then that clip, that little clip there, that's the bit that we don't need. So we just want to go to edit and cut and hopefully it should start by the second I start talking. I, I know. So I do hope that you have taken a few things out of this, if you have, cool, if you haven't, then okay, fair enough. So I'm going to end the video here because Red Army TV is nagging me, no I'm just joking. So I'm going to end the video here, so I'm going to say, thanks for watching today's video, remember to like it. You know what I'm saying? If you are new to the channel, please, please, please go ahead and subscribe so you never miss a video. Bye-bye, people.